it relate to eligibility to vote? On February 26, 2024, the Electoral Commission, IEC, announced the political parties had been given sufficient time to comply with the signature requirements for standing in the elections. On the same day, it published the election timetable and announcing May 29, 2024 as the election date and stating that voter registration had been completed. All independent candidates and political parties who intend to contest this general election must submit nomination requirements by 5 p.m. on March 8, 2024. The Electoral Commission will, after verifying the submitted nomination documents, issue notices on non-compliance where such as warranted. These notices will be issued on March 18, 2024, and those issued with such notices must rectify non-compliance by March 20, 2024. The date for the 2024 general elections was proclaimed by the President and all provincial premiers on Friday, 23rd February 2024. The proclamation of the election date has certain legal consequences for the electoral process. The, the first major implication is that the voters' role has now closed. Voter verifications as well as other validations are currently underway to ensure that there is compliance with the provisions of the law as they relate to eligibility to vote. An electronic version of the voter's roll will be made available in all offices of the Commission for inspection purposes. Those who wish to object to the inclusion or exclusion of a voter and the voter's roll must do so by March 4, 2024. The objections received or before March 4, 2024 will be considered, investigated and determined by the Commission by March 11, 2024. As regards the voting public, the focal point is assessing the voting process through special arrangements, including dates for applications for special votes. In general elections, South Africans vote for a party and not for a presidential candidate. Parties are then allocated seats in the 400-member parliament according to their share of the vote, and MPS elect the president.